Hello and welcome. This video will cover the built-in wheel experiment, in which we have a model, a small model of a built-in wheel, uh, and we are going to test it under different conditions. And during your lab, you might uh, require to do different trials with different fluorides. We are using this general purpose uh, hydraulic pinch again. We, are getting, we have a pump in there which circulates water to the built-in wheel, then back to the tank. The pump is pumping water through this nozzle and we got a pressure measurement in it. During your experiment, you will be setting a certain flow rate based on the pressure you see on this uh, pressure gauge in here and then loading the bolton wheel using these spring balances. We will be using this light tachometer to get uh, RPM reading from the turbine. You should uh, do about six trials with each flow rate, six to eight trials, uh, starting with zero load, as the balance are not applying any load on the belt and wheel, then start loading it till you go down with about 300 RPM on the turbine. I'm going to switch the pump on now to show you what will happen and how the turbine runs. Later, we'll discuss how the different uh, readings will be taken. Always we make sure this main valve is switched off and we switch on the pump. Then slowly we start opening the valve down there and we'll see water starts to flow there. You can see with uh, less flow rate the turbine is not moving. As we increase that, the turbine will start to move. Now it is running at high speed. For me to adjust the pressure, it will be this while winding. We will be setting the pressure at one bar at the beginning. Then we'll take different readings with different loads. the flow rate measurement, we are going to use this flow board to look the time required for a certain amount of water to collect. We are going to collect water in the storage tank of this uh, vent, which is in two steps. That's why in here we see 0 to 10 liters, then again we have 0. The 0 to 10 liter is for the small tank, or the small part of the tank, then this top range is for the big side of the tank. So, for example, if we got 20 or 18 on the upper one, we will need to add it to 10. And that will be the total water collected. In order to collect water, we are going to close this valve in here. So as we close the valve, water will start rising on this meter and we, by that time we will be logging time and we will get the volume from there, time from the stopwatch, we divide them, we get the flow rate. So this is basically the way to get the flow rate. We will do it only once per trial as the flow will stay the same. So we change the nozzle. So this shaft is the same shaft connected to the turbine from the other side. In here we can get RPM reading using this tachometer. Always we need to point to the parameters because the reflector is placed there. And we will get RPM reading in there. We take RPM reading, then we record the load. The first RPM reading we take without load, so the belt is loose. Always be careful as this is rotating very fast. Avoid loose hair, loose clothes or jewelry. Then you can start loading by turning these. No spinning. Okay. 
then we record the load from both balances. You need to be careful, these two balances have different scales. So, read them carefully, record them, balance 1, balance 2, and then RPM again. We are done with one set. Again, we will load it again. Always load both sides, so avoid having the belt pulled to one side only. After we change the load, we take the RPM again. And it's reducing now. I started with about 1,400, 1,300. Now it's reading 1,200. Next, we increase the load again. Record balance 1, balance 2, and the RPM. And so on. So we reduce the RPM to about 300 revolution per minute. And you will notice, if you keep loading the turbine, it will reach the moment which the turbine is going to stop. Means there is no enough energy to meet the required output shaft power. Because basically we are applying load here, means we are requiring more shaft power. So to repeat all and, and say it quickly, during the lab you will be doing uh, the following measurements. You will be doing a pressure reading from the pressure gate located in the front of the apparatus. You are going to do water flow rate once per pressure, which is collecting a specific amount of water and uh, logging the time required for that. So you will have volume and time, which you can divide and get a flow rate. Then, from the back side of the apparatus, you will be doing readings in different steps, which is mainly loading the uh, wheel using these two spring balance, then record the load at each step with the RPM. You can see here, we got one reflector, which reflects one time per revolution. And for that purpose, we use this tachometer, light tachometer, which will read RPMs uh, as we go. So this is basically it. Thank you for watching.